Welcome to another episode of AWS, AWS Wednesday at Stick Show. Remember what happened from the previous video? Those EC2 instances were targeted by a Layer 7 or Application DDoS attack via their public IP addresses. So what shall we do to secure these public IP addresses? Do we even need it? Can we remove them? That's what we're going to demonstrate in this video. I'm here now in our AWS console home. Actually, we have four tabs. The first one and two and three tabs are all identical. These are AWS EC2 console homepage. And the fourth one is the VPC console homepage. We're going to talk about why we need to access VPC console. Now, if I click instances, it shows us our two instances, six block one and six block two. Now, if I click one of the stick box, you will see there's a public IP address. And this is something that we need to remove because we don't need it. Okay. If I copy these, okay, and access via a different tab and I will append the URL with port 8000, I can access this uh, directly. Okay. And this is insecure because we know that we have application load balancer that is sitting in front of these EC2s. Again, we need to remove this public IP address. Now, what I'm going to do is I will go to the VPC console and uh, I'm going to click subnet. Why do we need to click subnet? Because um, we need to remove uh, the public IP address. We need to disable the auto assign public IP address. Now, maybe you're thinking why? Let's go to the second tab. If I click launch instance, disabling that ought to assign public IP address is actually easy when upon instance creation. Okay. If I click edit, you will see here that you have two options, enable and disable auto assign public IP. But this is the default and we created our instances with public IP address assigned. That's why we have a public IP address, but that's okay. We're going to remove it. It's not so simple though. Here's what we're going to do. Um, so first, we need to know the subnet ID of this instance. The subnet ID ends with 12FC. If I go to VPC console home, again, we are under subnets now. There are only three subnets. We need to edit this first subnet. Again, the one ending with 12FC. I'm going to click this. And then I'm going to click action and edit subnet settings. All right, as you can see, enable auto assign public IP version four is enabled, it's checked. I'm gonna disable this. I'm gonna untick the tick box and then I'm gonna click save, All right there. Now, um, if I hit refresh, a lot of people or some people would say, this is it, this is how you disable this public IP version four address, but no, it's still there. If I hit refresh, I can still access our stick show blog one. Okay. And, uh, what I will do is to remove the subnet is follow the steps. The first step is, well, that's the first step. Disable auto assign public IP settings on the VPC subnet. The next one is I will stop this instance. I'm going to click stop instance. Okay. There you go. I uh, just stop. This instance takes block one. And uh, next, I will create an elastic IP address. Why? I will show you why later, but let's go to elastic IPs under network and settings. I'm going to click this. And there's still no elastic IP address. Basically, elastic IP address, this is a generated public IP address. And uh, we're going to generate a new public IP address, a new elastic IP address. So what I did is I just click this button here, allocate elastic IP address, and I will just leave everything default. As you can see here, Amazon's pool of IP version for address. I'm going to click allocate. And there you go. We have now a new public IP address. We call this elastic IP address. Um, the second one is the second. Uh, task, not, not second, but the next task will be, um, I'm going to click X here. 
I will edit the network settings of Stix Blog 1. It's currently stopped, as you can see, the instant state. So I tick, I click the stick box, and then under Actions, I will click Network Settings, and I'm going to click Manage IP Addresses. There. So we are here in this page where we will manage the IP address of this EC2 instance. Under here, we have this if zero. Basically, this is the network interface of our EC2 instance, the six block one. I'm going to click this arrow. And as you can see, we have the IP address of our EC2. Uh, this is the IP address allocated. I'll, I'll show you. This is the IP address allocated. See, 172.31.17.121. And maybe you're thinking, it doesn't have public IP version 4 address anymore. Yes, because it stopped. But when we, um, but when it reboots back, a new public, not new public IP address, the same public IP address will be reassigned. That's what's going to happen. So uh, let's continue. So this is the private IP address, 17.121. See? Okay. And this is allocated to the public IP address that is currently not available, but later it will. What I will do is I'm going to click new IP address or assign new IP address. This will be basically add a secondary IP address. So it will create or it will auto assign a second private IP address. For the public IP address, it will still be empty. That's okay. I'm going to click save now. Confirm. Okay. And then let's go again to networking and manage IP address. If I click this arrow again, as you can see, we have two private IP address. This is the original, the primary, and this is the secondary, okay, the one we just created. Now, what we will do next is we will associate this elastic IP address, our public IP address, to the secondary private IP address. So basically, we will see 13.229.179.122 associated to this. Okay, so how will we do that? Well, I will click this public IP address, our elastic IP address. And then, this is the summary. There's a new button here, Associate Elastic IP Address. I'm going to click these. Now, we will be asked um, to which resource type we will associate this public IP address. I'm going to click Network in Interface. Okay, And then I will choose the network interface of that instance. Um, we're not sure yet. Let's go back. So the network interface is this. It's zero. It ends. C5E6. Okay, let's do that again. I'm going to click this uh, field and then I will select C5E6 there. Okay, and the private IP address, it should match this. So it should be 172.31.26.209. I'm going to click this field and there you go. It says 172.31.26.209. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to click associate. Now, after we click the associate, we're going to hit refresh and you will see that our elastic IP address will now be added on our secondary IP address. I'm going to click associate. All right, it is successful. Now, if I refresh, I'm going to click this arrow and there you go. Our elastic IP address is now assigned to our second private IP address. Now, we're almost done. But we're, what we will do next is we will simply start our 6 block 1 because it's currently stopped. And as we start this instance, you will see this public IP version 4 will remain empty. I'm going to click start instance. So it's now booting and um, after a few seconds, you will see the instances as running and this public IP version 4 will remain empty. Okay, this will take a few seconds. Um, 
for six block one we can do it later but the same steps okay so this will take a few more seconds after we see the instant state as running the next thing that we will do is we'll go back to manage ip address this page exactly this page and uh, since we don't need the secondary ip address anymore we can unassign it all right let's go back to our second tab as you can see the instant state now is running okay and uh, if i hit refresh as you can see we are no longer able to access this ec2 because this public ip address is not working anymore it's already gone as you can see public ip address is empty all right so the next thing that i'm gonna do is i will not this one i will remove the secondary ip address i will just click unassign i'm gonna click save and let's verify let's go to networking and then manage ip address i'm gonna click this arrow and there you go we only have private ip address no public ip address it's all gone okay and again uh let's verify uh, let me just hit refresh six block one okay public ip address is still empty our private ip address didn't change now what we're gonna do is we will just test our load balancer i will click sticks elb and uh, if i go to monitor uh not monitor i will click sticks tg the traffic group okay and as you can see both targets are still healthy now if i go to details and i'm gonna copy dns as you can see the sticks blog one is no longer accessible but let's we can access our web application via our application load balancer and from our traffic group our two instances are still healthy yeah that's one of the role of aws elastic load balancer or elb it's the one facing the internet the one accepting http requests from clients the ec2 instances are just behind the load balancer and it's best practice to remove those IP address or public IP addresses. The ELB will just forward the traffic to EC2 via VPC via private networks.